We've just been to the AEG Expo in London, which is the first time that Elton John, as all of you will know, I've been enjoying at my house for the past month or so. It's the first time Elton John has been enjoyed by the masses in the UK. I'm very, very lucky to have Mr. Jersey Jack himself with me, sat down Thank in you. a hotel before we go Appreciate for a, a Chinese, um, lovely Chinese yeah, meal. Yeah, I'm looking forward to that. We had, a great, we had a great show the first two days. Good day, right? Yeah, really great. Everybody, Everybody that played the game loved the game. They did, they did. Just tell yeah. me, before we get started, is Elton John going to get one of these games? He's getting more than one. Is he? Yeah. He's getting a PE and a CE. Yeah. He's donated uh, several games that should benefit his AIDS Foundation as well. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, okay, okay. I mean, that's on the quiet. We're not looking to get, you know, brag about that. But, no, no, you know, no, 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 no. So it's, did you, when you obviously had discussions with his people and, and, and him himself, was it something that he was excited about? Yes, extremely. Actually, we offered 10 games and they said, we only want eight games. I mean, they're really great people to work with. All the people at Rocket and um, just amazing people. The cooperation, the um, collaboration, the appreciation of what we're doing and how we did it. How we captured, you know, we were told we captured Elton, Elton John's DNA in the game. So we really, we really hit it. The team worked really hard. Did you? I mean, I'm interested in the decision-making process. Actually, obviously, eventually you settled on Elton. But when you're deciding what game you're eventually going to do, right. how, how many games are in? I'm not expecting you to tell me which games, but how many are in the mix before you make your final decision? Well, you know, settled, maybe that's an English word, but we didn't settle. We, we strive to get that license. And when I look for a license, I'm looking for activity from the licensor where they'll cooperate with us. They'll get us all the assets we need, video assets. I need to license music in this case, certainly 16 songs. So uh, art, pictures, uh, video, a lot of things went into it to make to give actually to give the team all the assets they need to make a great game. Well, I certainly didn't feel I've got a fair knowledge of Elton John, I think, and his back catalogue. I didn't feel there were any songs missing uh, from it at all. But of course, you've had to deal with not only Elton John to get Pimble Wizard, you've had to deal with the Who, possibly Pete Townsend. Yeah, that wasn't. I don't think that was a big deal. That, I didn't get involved with that. I just said we wanted it. I think they cleared it with them. I, I think I'm guessing. Um, and it was seamlessly great. It was really great cooperation. Yeah, I mean, I, I've, I've clearly I love the game, and I would hope anybody watching this video has possibly watched already some uh, Elton John videos on the channel, and they'll know that I love the game. I think it's fair to say, and I'm not just saying this because you're here, <laughs> it got a really good response today. So yeah. we've basically been in a yeah. big exhibition. There's been lots of games to play. We've had Jaws in yeah. there. There's been a Galactic yeah. Tank Force. There's yeah. been a, a whole host of games. Right. And I think it's and it's me saying this, not you. And, and I, I say this with absolute conviction. I think if you were to go and look at what's been written and certainly on our, on our local forum in the UK, Pinball Info, a lot of people and who I spoke to today are saying that they think probably Elton John was a pick of a bunch. Yeah, I'm, I'm really thrilled with that, and I know Steve and the whole team, they'll be thrilled with that, we'll communicate that to them. I've sent them pictures, i sent them a few videos of people playing the game and their commentary. It's wonderful to hear, because when you work on something for so long, with so much passion and energy and devotion, you really want it to be accepted in the spirit which you created it. And it's amazing to see that response. It's very satisfying for me. I'm lucky because I get to experience it firsthand in a show with hundreds and hundreds of people. But everybody on the team and the whole company is deserving of uh, credit for the game. Did, did you know? Obviously, it comes to a point where the design gets done, and I guess you build a prototype or however it works. Several. <laughs> I'm sure. Uh, did, did you know when that, when you we played it for the first time, did you think this is a hit? got to be hard to tell, right? So when I shot Steve's uh, first Whitewood, um, you know, the ramp wasn't done, the big ramp wasn't done, some other things weren't done, certainly it's the first. But I said, wow, this is pretty fast, and it, and it shoots great. And... I just smile when I play the game and I see everybody else, they just have a good time because it's fun. Um, very satisfying, the upper right flipper does a lot of different things, uh, which is surprising a lot of times on 
upper right or left flippers, they make one shot. I can make a whole bunch of shots. I can make shots over and over in succession with that flipper. It's great. Um, I just feel very, I guess, satisfied and happy when I play the game. Yeah, well, it's, it, it is fun. It's definitely fun. And it is fast, but I don't feel overly dangerously so. It's no, not so fast you that you're losing the ball. The, watch the, the drop targets, because if you hit the rocket box the wrong way, that's going quickly right down the middle. Yeah, I think you think that you've got to have some uh, jeopardy, though. Um, if I may, could touch on sort of a bill of materials. I bet it's been a, a, you're the first pinball manufacturer that I've been able to, to speak to, really. That's another one sitting on the other side of the room. Well, <laughs> you know, I, I don't know. You know, they, they, I pick the best hotels and they follow me. I uh, yeah, for sure. <laughs> for sure. I mean, I'm interested he's in this. paid for my room. So. Well, he's very good, Phil, isn't he? I think he's paying for the Chinese as well. Well, speaking oh. of Chinese, we're going to the restaurant tonight, right? We are. I got dinner. He yeah, got the drinks. This is great. This is great. I'm having water. He's, he's brought the pinball machine over. Oh, um, yeah. Yeah, uh, Phil's got the drinks. Ch free Chinese. Did I distract you from the bill of material I, No, no, you're just... <laughs> yeah, that's what you're hoping. So, uh, so back onto the bill of materials. Thanks for reminding me. <laughs> I'm, I'm interested. Are you saying I just want to build the best pinball machine and then yes. sort of sort of to hell with a budget? Yes. Yes. Yeah, me at hello. Yeah. I mean, look, it's great to have a budget and it's great to have a timeline. Famously or infamously, we never make the budget. We never make the timeline because we could have stopped Steve and the team earlier. But it's like pulling an apple pie out of the oven before it's done. Sure. And I want my apple pie. You know, it needs to be done. It needs to be finished. you got a great product. A lot of people said to me, wow, Steve is back. The team, you know, really did a great job. You know, it's a simple way of saying they really appreciate what he and the team did with this game. And it shows in the time and the energy and the effort and the love that they put into the game. So talk me through the idea, the, the concept between getting Steve on board, because I think it's a really good move. Well, look, you know, Steve and I have been friends for, I don't know, 25, 30 years. Um, I wasn't able to hire him when I started the company, but we were able did to you hire try? him then. Yeah, we did. That's, that's going to be another podcast. Okay. But Steve has to be there for that one. Because he'll have his side of things and I'll have my side of things. And then somewhere in the middle is what really happened, I guess. But, you know, um, he's very talented. He's very passionate. He's very stubborn, as many people are, really great people, when they have a design or an idea. And Steve has a rule. Uh, it's probably well known. If three people tell him something is poop, it's poop. So he doesn't have this ego where he stands on ceremony saying, I did this and that's what's going to be and that's going to be it. He's very cooperative with the team. And they all work together and collaborate together and you get a better product. This design process, so let's say that Steve or, or any designer comes up with a, with a basic layout. How is that then talked through then? Do a couple of people try and shoot it? If something doesn't work, yeah. it's amended. How does that work? Yeah, well, Steve's his own biggest critic. He really is. Um, he's a perfectionist. And you can see in the game, um, you know, other people, Joe Katz, really, you know, I mean, <laughs> so many other people that really put their heart into the game for a couple of years. Um, people that are really good players, so, uh, you know, that pl are in the company that sure. play the game. Even me, not a great player. Um, you know, I know pinball well. Uh, you know, when you see something, you say something. So suggestions, you know, uh, you know, I said it before with Pat Lawler, I'll say it with Steve, you know, when you hire Michelangelo, you don't teach him how to paint the Sistine Chapel. Sure. Just let him loose and let him do what he knows how to do, and then you get the product like we got. Yeah, sure. I mean, and to be fair, I've, I've been in and around you all day, and I, and I think seeing you <laughs> play in other pinball machines, but that was, you know, not that, that weren't your own. You've, you've definitely got, got that love for pinball yeah, still, was, right? absolutely. I love pinball. I mean, the worst games that people think are the worst games really... Uh, there's always something good about a pinball machine. What could be bad about a pinball machine, really? Well, I've seen one or two, but not many. <laughs> out, 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 out of the, you know, out of the few that I've, the few couple of hundred or whatever I might have played. Right. Yeah, I, I mean, it's, hey, what's not to love is the best hobby in the world, right? right? right. Um, just before we finish up, Jack, I do, do appreciate your time. Your next releases, obviously I'm not expecting you to tell me. Thank you. That's all right. Um, how excited, well, first of all, before I talk about how excited, how hard is it to keep a secret in pinball? 
You know, it's hard because, um, you know, you have a lot of vendors, you have a lot of uh, people outside the company that are quote unquote sworn to secrecy. But if our parts are laying next to somebody else's parts and somebody comes in or somebody goes bowling or somebody goes, you know, camping or whatever it is, it's hard for people to keep their, um, you know, lips quiet with that. Uh, we work on it, though. I think, I think internally in our company, everybody understands that we want to focus on selling and marketing the game that we're building right now. What, what is, what is the th I'm interested, what is the thought process between keeping it so secretive, though? Why, why, why is that done? I think every kind of company that releases things wants to have an opportunity to have a wow. You never get a second chance to make a first impression. Hey, it's a good okay? yeah. So, uh, when you make something like this that you put a couple of million dollars into to develop and you have all these people working around, you know, we have people around the world working on this um, uh, process, you, you want to have a wow factor to it. You want to say, wow, look at this. You know, when we do that video for Elton John, I mean, he shared it on his social media. I mean, we went all the way. We didn't just take, you know, a little iPhone and do something with somebody pulling a plunger and shooting a couple sure. of shots, something like that. There's nothing wrong with that. Uh, but we can make something better, and we want to make the best. We want to do the best we can with everything we do. Well, I think every machine you make has, has, has that well factor yeah. to it. I, I think that's absolutely fair. So these, um, what have you got? No, not what have you got? You've got next one, two games in the pipeline? Three. Three? Three, and oh, obviously all at various stages. Yeah. It's one of those, it's one of those Steve's doing? Yes. Fantastic. Yes. Fantastic. And when can we expect roughly your next release? When it's done. Excellent. Love it. <laughs> <laughs> excited about that? I Listen, I'm excited about everything we do. Um, I can't make it be fake. It's real. Um, it's a passion. I've been blessed to be able to do this um, my whole life, basically. And uh, it's a wonderful thing. Well, look, I mean, we really appreciate it. We're happy to bring it. the games to everybody. We want to bring more fun into the world, more smiles. Um, there's enough things going on with the world. We want to be positive and, and have uh, good things happen. Well, listen, I, I mean, I really appreciate it, and I really appreciate you sending the game over. It's been a, a real oh, honor, yeah. you know, to get to get it sent it. over here. And this is a great show. The people in uh, in this area that come, they're very passionate. They love pinball. Um, the support, the community, it's really great. We love them. Well, it's definitely appreciated in the UK because I know we're only a small part of the, you know, the overall global business. Well, everybody everybody makes their it. contribution. And yeah. it's, it's important. You know, a lot of people that came today I met before. A lot of people that came today I met the first time. It was nice for them to turn out. It's freaking freezing here this time it is, of the year. It is, it is. You picked so, a bad uh, time. You picked a bad well, time. Well, I didn't arrange the show. I wouldn't no. turn it in Aruba, you know, like, uh, <laughs> let's, all, no. let's all go there. Yeah, you know? but there's been there's been no frost, you know, for the, no, for the, sort no, of the last 12 it's, it's months. It's actually been warmer than other times I've been here. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, sure. <laughs> the wind cut down a little bit. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. It was a lot of fun. No complaint. No, final so question, uh, Jack. How do you think Pimble's, as overall, not just Jersey Jack, do you think Pimble's healthy at the moment? I think it's very healthy. It's nice to see all the companies uh, building pinball and designing pinball. More people are getting into it. Uh, people in school that love pinball, mechanical engineers, programmers, electrical engineers, people like that are knocking on doors to try to get into the industry. And that's a good thing. We keep it going. You know, we're teaching young people how to program and design and develop pinball machines. So. I'm pretty confident that pinball is going to keep going. So yeah, no, it, it which looks... a lot of us were worried about 13 years ago. Sure. When yeah. I started the company. Well, it seems like a golden age now, and I think you've um, well, it's like where, well, I don't know where Phil's gone, but wherever he was, uh, you know, as, as he said, you know, he felt that, that Jersey Jack, and when you brought out the uh, the Wizard of Oz, he felt that you you saved pinball and gave it a shot in the well, arm. Really, I, I know that's a nice thing to say, but I think everybody saved it by their own passion and their own commitment to it. I think we all did a little part to save pinball. Yeah, but and keep it going. Competition's good though; makes everybody up their game. Competition's great. I said that in the beginning. You know, you can't make you can't make an auction with one bidder. You know, so if you have only one company in an industry making a product, you're probably not going to get the best product you can get. When two people compete and 12 people compete, that's when you're probably going to get a better product. 
Yeah, no, well look, we love Elton John. Looks great, shoots great, yeah. sounds great, yeah. plays great, and it's just a great game. So, yeah. um, and I really appreciate it. Thank you. Cheers. Appreciate it too. Cheers, Jazzy Jack. Everybody.